The bottom panel is the bottom shelf in your grill's cabinet. The propane cylinder sits in it and the door catches are attached to it. Most problems with the bottom panel are the result of accidental damage. The panel can also rust after many years in wet climates. Replacing the bottom panel is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the back panel from the grill. Now open the cabinet doors, remove the catch pan and the drip pan. Now remove the drip pan support bracket. I've removed the cabinet door for clarity. You won't need to on your repair. and one more screw on the outside panel. Now I can remove the bottom panel from the grill. It's secured on either side by two bolts that sit beneath this lip. I'll go ahead and remove them. Now I can lift the panel from the grill. Now we can begin installing our new bottom panel. The panel kit comes with a new hardware kit. I'll take the nut brackets that come in the new hardware kit and install them onto the panel. You'll notice there's notches above each hole. The nut itself should be on the inside of the panel and the bracket just snaps into place. The kit also comes with new bolts and plastic washers. And I'll go ahead and place a plastic washer on each of the bolts. Now we're ready to install the panel. I'll install the panel back into the frame, making sure that the magnetic catches are on the side of the grill where the doors are. Now secure the panel with the bolts. Now reinstall the drip pan bracket. Now replace the back panel. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the drip tray and the catch pan. And now you know how to replace the bottom panel on your grill.
Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.